we started harvesting the corn and we got about four or five days of just rainy drizzle and it brought up the moisture on the corn and so now the the corn moisture is up there so we're getting discounted on that but we've got to keep harvesting because we're supposedly getting a bunch more rain coming so it's still muddy in the fields and the moisture is is a little bit too high but we're we're still going anyway started out doing a little corn and uh, then proceeded to get some rain and some more rain and it's a day by day kind of uh, situation to get into the field and uh, get if you know if we can get two two three good days strung together to run some corn then we've been successful try and make some plans and then it usually changes because uh, either breakdowns or the weather doesn't cooperate or do what the weather people were guessing that was going to happen. We had several days strung together with precipitation, fog, mist, just gloomy five days with just moisture saturated in the air and that's where you tend to get the problem with the corn picking up a lot of moisture and not being able to dry back down. But three inches, no matter what, how you cut it, is a lot of rain. We're definitely having to go slower and we're losing some, that's for sure. And if the year ends up on the ground, there's no way we can get it at all. And the ear is still open and up the husk starts to separate from the corn and the water comes in the husk and sits in the bottom of the actual cob and ear and sits in there and, and then it just just continually feeds that moisture inside that that ear and that's where we tend to have the big problem you start getting the mold or the rot that husk will kind of just hold that moisture in there, as you said, like if it's pointed up especially. And I've even seen some where it'll start sprouting uh, down inside of there. You get enough moisture and warmth and stuff, and, and uh, that can go bad, and, and you could get discounted a lot for that too. We have to have the moisture when we need it. We had it when we needed it, and now we kind of need it to shut off, but it's not. One way or the other, it's gonna get you from, from one direction or the other, and this year it's been the latter during the harvest phase. They're having a hard time getting in the cornfield. The yields are there. Uh, the quality might be a little low because of the effects of the moisture that we've had, but all in all, it's, uh, it's, it's it's going to be a big harvest, even though it might be a little wet, and then put some strain on the elevator trying to get that crop dried down.